to continue on with Father Kevin's talk about Ignatius in jail, the times that he was incarcerated, we have to understand that in the Spain of Ignatius's time, to become very religiously motivated was to risk danger, to risk the attention of the, the Spanish Inquisition, because they were always um, looking for some sort of religious deviancy from the Catholic Church. And so those that showed themselves to be particularly um, pious, but also creative in their ways of approaching the faith ran the risk of um, being, um, being uh, arrested. And so that happened to Ignatius. Um, he, one time he showed up for dinner at the Dominican convent in Salamanca and was not allowed to leave, um, was um, jailed below there and uh, below the convent. And what ended up happening is that they investigated his book, The Spiritual Exercises. Um, they were very concerned about what it was that he was doing, leading people through exercises and things like that. At the end, the only thing that they could come up with is the fact that somehow without a background, he was advising people in their spiritual lives. And they said, you can't, you know, you're free to go and you're free to continue your studies. Just do not talk to people about the difference between mortal and venial sins. But for Ignatius, that was too much because for him to not be able to talk to people about something as essential in his mind as um, the possibility of sinning mortally, um, he took off and went up to Paris. Um, what is so interesting for me in all of this is that Ignatius did not choose the simple and easy path. Um, he had been converted. He had been dying on the, on the battlefield. He had faced his own death. And he wasn't about to back down in the face of people who doubted his own religious experience as profound and as deep as it was. He was a loyal son of the church, no question about that. Um, but he was also um, a very dedicated follower and lover of Jesus Christ. And he wanted to bring other people into that deep and intimate relationship with Jesus. And if that meant running the risk of being incarcerated, being considered a heretic, um, something he knew he was not, um, he would run that risk and continue in um, his faith. Um, I can only um, think about how many people in our times, you know, kind of face incredible opposition, um, but because they know what's right, they stay with that. They, they face the opposition and they stay with their faith and how we need people like that and more people like that who hold on to what is true no matter what. Ignatius was a person just like that. May we also be people like that. And that's the wisdom of St. Ignatius for today.